If that isn't one way to start off a match, I don't know what it is. What's up, guys? Beast Armani here. Got you some Battlefield 4 gameplay. I did it uh, pretty well, my little editor. Let me know what you guys think about it, or you don't have to, but look how I play this guy here. Shoot him a little bit, take some bullets, and I shoot him right there, a little crack in the wall. I saw that really quick. It's all about reaction time, people, but uh, sometimes you don't get rewarded for it, but that, it, you know, it just happens. It's multiplayer. You guys know how it is. Multiplayer is never going to be 100% balanced and fair. That's just how it is with connections. They're just unstable. It's just how it is. But uh, I got you some Battlefield 4 game plan. I wanted to make this commentary while I had some free time. I got off work uh, early, have a half day today and tomorrow, which would be Friday. But as this is being recorded, it's Thursday, but you guys will probably see it on Friday or whenever you decide to watch the video. But that's when it's going to get published, hopefully, unless YouTube has a messed up on their schedule uploader. But uh, it's going to be going up on Friday. And I'm recording on Thursday, but uh, yeah, I had a half day today, so I want to get you guys a video really quick. And uh, maybe I'll try and make some more videos really quick, uh, you know, to later on the day or even tomorrow. So that way, whenever I do have a little bit of a busy schedule later on the week, I can, uh, you know, just kind of relax and do all my, you know, own stuff like that. And get you guys the videos still while I'm, uh, you know, still tired from work and all that good stuff. At least until I get more used to it and more uh, just, I guess, absorbed with uh, just generally getting used to just how I'm supposed to be working. It is... Uh, you know, it was a lot easier today because we actually did stuff, which is pretty cool. Instead of just staying there watching people do stuff, I feel like it keeps you from, uh, you know, having a lot of back pain if you're just actually moving around and stuff. Because the first day we basically just sat there and watched people for 10 hours, just you know, showing us how to do our job. And for one, that's no fun. And for two, uh, you know, honestly, you're just sitting in one spot for the most of the time, and it's pretty boring. And uh, I think that's honestly what caused my back to have so much pain. Plus, I haven't really stood up that long. Uh, ever in my life 10 hours straight pretty much of stand up is pretty brutal but uh i'll get used to it so you know i'm looking forward to all the great outcomes of that you know if my job but that's enough with that i want to move on to a few of the subjects really quick before this commentary gets underway uh, battlefield 4 seems to be doing a lot better on the xbox one which is pretty good i heard that uh, dice was you know just trying to really fix their netcode because they had a lot of screw-ups on the netcode when battlefield 4 launched as you guys know battlefield 4 was nicknamed buggy field 4 or bug field 4 or whatever it had a pretty bad launch, and Battlefield 3 had a pretty bad launch as well, but uh, DICE, you know, they really got their stuff together, man. They started to fix a lot of the netcode problems. Of course, you're still going to have netcode issues uh, from such a bad start from whenever they didn't really fix a lot of the stuff in the beta, but it's a good start, and it shows that they're actually trying to fix stuff, unlike some other developers that kind of ignore the community and just keep on copying and pasting uh, the same patch notes over and over again, man. I just, I really wish some of these developers would just actually put effort in their games, man. It would definitely show. But that's just my opinion on that. You know, you guys can tell me down in the comment section what you think about it. Honestly, if another game developer, and you guys know what I'm talking about, put just a little bit of effort in, I think they can make a really solid game if they just kind of thought a little bit and thought how people would play it. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what would happen if they actually did really try. And I think that uh, since we're talking about a, uh, you know, subject, Call of Duty, I guess I can go ahead and say it. I think that the next trial quality will be pretty fun, at least for the zombies. I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do with that, seeing as it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be strictly on next-gen consoles, but hopefully it will be just so they can really utilize the uh, pure power of, you know, just the next-gen consoles. Uh, you know, a lot of developers are still having trouble figuring out exactly how to use them. So hopefully later on in the future we'll see some really high-end games that uh, perform really well. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to that, to see how that goes and all that good stuff. And uh, you guys can let me know down in the comment section on you know what games you're excited for in the future too that you may have heard of. For me, it's Far Cry 4, but I'm probably going to be getting that on the PC because by that time I'll probably have a really good video card and be able to run it on Ultra and maybe get you guys some cool gameplays of it. So we'll see. It's just kind of some things I plan in the future. So we'll see how it goes. You know, that's some of the things that I got in my uh, pocket to show you guys. And I'll try and get some more Battlefield 4 gameplay if you guys really want to see it. And I'll try and get you guys just some other gameplay in general. Maybe some PC gameplay here and there. And we'll see how that goes. But feel free to let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about all this stuff. I just want to make this quick video to let you guys know everything's all good. But uh, if you want to, feel free to rate the video. It helped me out a lot. But you guys, of course, have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.